today is the first day of Korean uni so I thought I would show you how I got ready for my first day Okay, so now I've washed my face, brushed my teeth, taken a shower, and let's get right into my skincare. My morning skincare routine is really simple. <laughs> I just use this facial toner from Claire's. Um, it's really good for moisturizing the skin and feeling hydrated, so I want that under as a base for my makeup. Like gently pat it in all over my face okay so now for makeup I always start with this startup primer from Acu Acu is that how you say it uh, and it's like a poor primer uh, since I have a lot of problems or like my biggest skin concern is my enlarged pores so I just like buff it in okay uh, and then actually I'm gonna just let it like sink in uh, and go with to prime my eyes as well and I'm using the NYX HD uh, high definition eyeshadow base so I always do my eye makeup first just because if there's any fallout under the eyes I can just cover up with my foundation later. Since I'm gonna be wearing a lot of uh, brown beige colors, I feel like I'm should I should go for like a warm tone, uh, warm tone eyeshadow as well. And I've been actually loving uh, the Anastasia Soft Glam palette that I got for my birthday uh, from my my dear friends. So thank you so much if you're watching this. One of my favorite base, base colors is the orange soda one. I'm just gonna show you that one. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and then I'm just gonna put the orange soda one all over my lid. I think I'm gonna go with the burnt orange one a little bit darker color um, and I usually just put it right like all over the lid but closer to the lash line to create some depth like that and then I feel today I'm gonna go with the mulberry one uh, it's a gorgeous like red, dark red color, like a wine red color, um, and I'm just gonna put it like in the outer, outer corner. For fun, I'm gonna put some of the glistening um, color just in the middle of the eyelid, just to create some sparkle. And I'm just using my fingers because I feel like for glitter or shimmery eyeshadows, that works a lot better. I don't know if you can see, but it's a lot, like a little shimmer that I like. Uh, and then for like a final touch of the colors, I'm just gonna go in with the clay one-on-one pencil. I feel like this is such a wonderful shade. Uh, it's kind of like beige glittery, and it lasts for a really long time. Well, so I'm just gonna put some over the shimmery uh, 
shimmer eyeshadow as well because this lasts for a really really long time and also the sparkles are a little bit bigger so I feel like if there's hopefully some sun today uh, the sun will catch these larger glitter pieces a lot better okay so for eyeliner I have actually been using this eyeliner right here I bought this a few weeks ago when I just arrived in Korea and it's called the Heroin Make Smooth Liquid Eyeliner and it's a waterproof eyeliner it's brown um, and it's actually a Japanese eyeliner I think but it's really really good it has like this brush applicator and it goes on really really well see and we're almost done with the eyes I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then put some mascara on uh, this is my favorite mascara it's uh, Lumine um, Nordic Nordic cheek full-on curl mascara and it's waterproof but unfortunately or no, this is actually not my favorite mascara. They had another one before, but they stopped making it. So I used use this instead. But if you have a, like a tip for a straight Asian eyelashes, like a mascara that works for that kind of lashes, uh, just let me know in the comments because I am on the lookout for a new mascara. You see what a difference? <laughs> like eyelash curler and mascara does okay so next I'm just gonna put on my foundation and the foundation I've been using uh, now for a couple of weeks is this from Chica y Chico and it's called the matte fix and they have one that has a really matte finish but I bought the one that's semi matte um, and for the I really like the finish of it um, but I don't know if the formula is like right for my skin type because I feel like it goes on quite cakey in the beginning but then after a while it just kind of sinks into the skin or yeah it looks better after after a couple of hours but I'm just gonna put this on and I always start in like the center of my face and work my way out especially now when I'm like kind of tanned I feel like if I start from the middle um, it creates like a natural shading <laughs> something like that so now it's time for brows uh, and I've been using the NYX one micro brow pencil uh, for quite some time Does that even look good? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Okay, so the last step is lipstick, and I'm gonna go with the Kiko 812. Also, this smells really good, like vanilla or something. Like that. Okay you guys, this is the final look. Uh, my bangs are really really long so I just kind of put them to the side and then I just let the hair, like the length, be kind of as they were. So um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna put some clothes on, get some lunch and then we're going to the duty. So this is the outfit I'm gonna be wearing today. Uh, it's a jean skirt from Zara, a little top from Zara as well, and this uh, shirt that I bought in Jeju.
Okay, so we made it to the university. Here's my friend. Ah, and she also has a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna link her YouTube channel <laughs> in the description. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Songkyungkwang University. It's uh, one of the oldest universities here. It's the oldest university in uh, East Asia. Oh, really? Mm. Oh. I read it on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, we're just gonna go stroll around and uh, hopefully get to do some fun activities tonight. Yeah. So, bye! <laughs>